Hello my friends, today I will show you how to create this element motif of real, it's not big element, for lesson number 5 of crochet course Secrets of Dress Beverly. Uh, so we have here in total 4 rows, first I will make 6 chain loops, join them to the ring by slip stitch, switching loops to move up, 11 double crochet around this ring and in the end we have here slip stitch. After we can start next row, I made this row in green color. Now I will take thread, I will use such dark gray color of thread sapphire looks. I will make first loop like this without knot. Once again you have thread, take hook, uh, just move like this and after make circle just like this, very simple. Catch this point where these two threads cross each other and after yarn over and draw through this working loop. And next we have first loop, yes, second, third, fourth, and the last one. Six chain loops. Insert hook to the first chain below two threads, yarn over and draw through everything. Yes, in one time. Slip stitch. We have our small circle. Next I like to take these two threads together and draw them through working loop till I see tail at the right side. I have this tail so everything is okay. And now uh, we have one chain loop already, I will make two more, one, two, and now I can make 11 uh, double crochet stitches around this ring. So, how to start? One time yarn over, insert hook to the middle of this ring, yarn over, make a loop, yarn over, draw through two working loops, and yarn over, draw again through two working loops. In such way you will get, yes, this first double crochet stitch. Next again yarn over, insert hook to the middle of the ring and make again double crochet stitch. So now we have two stitches like this and I will continue to work. So now the same, yarn over, make third stitch to the middle of the ring, yarn over, make again the same. Uh, now we have four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and last one, eleven. Eleven double crochet stitches. And now uh, we need to join to the to this chain that we have in the beginning. Uh, we made three chain loops to move up. So one, two, three to the third chain. Insert hook below two threads, yarn over and draw through everything. In such a way, we will get circle. Second row, uh, we start from here, we finish it at this point, slip stitch. Next we have 12 chain loops, next we will count back 5 and to the chain number 6 I will make first double crochet stitch. So make these chain loops accurate, not too, too tight and not too loose, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 chain loops. Now. Don't count these loops that we have on the hook. Start from here. One, two, three, four, five. This one is chain number six. Yarn over, insert hook to this chain below two threads and very accurate, make double crochet stitch. Yes, like this. I made this stitch, so we have double crochet stitch. I will show you now closer. like this. Next, two chain loops. Skip two chain loops to the third. Again, insert hook below two threads. And slowly just make this double crochet stitch. We have two stitches. Next, one, two chain loops. Uh, now, uh, we need to make a single crochet to the same point where we started. So, to this point where we started, I will insert hook and make single crochet. So, to this one. Insert hook, yarn over, make a loop, and now yarn over, draw through two loops. This will be single crochet stitch. After uh, to the next stitch of previous row, below two threads, insert your hook and make single crochet stitch. And to the next one also. Insert hook to the next stitch, below two threads. Uh, 
um, below again two threads in the next stitch yarn over make a loop yarn over and draw through two loops so we, we made three stitches in total from here we can start next chain this time this will be 11 chain loops chain is just a little bit smaller because in the beginning we made this one chain loop additional um, just to um, close this area yes we should have here uh, the same level like in this case we have two stitches here we don't have the single crochet stitch that's why we have additional chain loop but next two times we will start from 11 chain loops let's make it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh, and next again count back one two three four five to the chain number six below two threads insert hook and make double crochet stitch now two chain loops one two and skip two chain loops and to the third again insert hook below two threads and make double crochet stitch okay again two chain loops and now to the same point where we started where we have already single crochet stitch to the same point insert your hook and make also single crochet stitch next to the next stitch below two threads single crochet and to the next one single crochet stitch after uh, we should make 11 chain loops again 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 1 2 3 4 5 count back to the chain number six below two threads make double crochet stitch next two chain loops skip two chain loops to the third make double crochet stitch again two chain loops and to the same point where we started we have here already one single crochet stitch to the same point i will make single crochet right now and this is the last stitch for this second row now we will start row number three and we will start from one chain loop to just we need to make it to move up next turn the work and go around and make all these single crochet stitches so let's make one chain loop turn the work take this petal this chain yes like this now around this first arch i will make uh, two single crochet stitches so first one just around this arch second one like this to the uh, top of the stitch double crochet one single crochet also around this arch also two stitches and again to the top of double crochet stitch insert hook below two threads and make single crochet stitch now we have here bigger chain so at this part we should make seven single crochet stitches three four five six and the last one now at this side uh, to this chain where we have already stitch we will use only one thread because we have here only one insert hook below and make single crochet direct to this point around the arch again two single crochet and again to this point where we have stitch around this ch chain make one single crochet and after again two single crochet around the small arch after transition to the next uh, petal here we have three single crochet stitches so uh, to the middle one i will make single crochet stitch and now we can take second base and start work here the same system two stitches around the arch one stitch to the top of double crochet two single crochet around the next arch and one stitch to the top of double crochet stitch after seven stitches around the arch one two three four five six and seven now at this side where we have stitch to this chain i will make single crochet to this point around the arch again two single crochet and to the point where we have already stitch i will make one single crochet and the last small arch so two single crochet stitches and here again we need to make transition to the next petal so to the middle stitch below two threads one single crochet stitch and now i will make the same number of stitches around the third base and we will start to make the last row so i finished to make last two single crochet around this small arch on the skin we have this part 
here just uh, I finished it to make this two single crochet stitches now one chain loop to move up turn the work and we will not touch the first stitch we will start from the second one first we have single crochet next we have one two three four five five times double crochet stitches next we have two stitches in different size to one stitch of previous row next we have two treble crochet stitches to one point and here this is the middle of our beautiful petal and we should make here three stitches treble crochet stitches to one point after uh, make symmetrically at this side all the stitches two times treble crochet stitches again next treble crochet double crochet stitches to one point four times double crochet stitches and the last one here is single crochet from here we can join to the second petal and repeat the same stitches around this petal so let's start first i need to make one chain loop turn the work and also i think it's better I think it's better to join just to fix this thread we can make some uh, yes last stitch is better to make to the chain because in this way we will fix our work yes beautiful petal one chain loop to start after we don't touch the first stitch we go to the second one here we, we should make below two threads single crochet stitch after uh, we have how many five times yes five times double crochet stitches step by step just first one again one time yarn over below two threads to the next stitch i will make second double crochet stitch to the next one now we have three stitches to the next one now we have four stitches again one time yarn over and make one double crochet stitch so i finish it to make five double crochet stitches after i will make one double crochet stitch and one treble crochet stitch to the same point next we should make two treble crochet stitches to the same point so two times yarn over and make treble crochet stitch two times to the same point now we have middle point so there i will make three stitches treble crochet stitches to one point first one i have now second one and the last one two times yarn over insert hook and make treble crochet stitch we have our middle point now go to the other side start to, uh, to make two treble crochet stitches to one point next we should make Two different stitches to one point start from bigger one it this will be treble crochet stitch and next only one time yarn over and make double crochet stitch to the same point after this we start to make four double crochet stitches step by step first one second one to the next stitch third one to the next stitch and last double crochet to the next one and now we have small stitch single crochet in this way we will finish uh, our first petal and now we can join to the second one just we need to count where we need to join you can look to the scheme so we need to join to this stitch that we have yes in one level of with this double crochet stitch it's very easy to see so if you will look we have double crochet stitch and we have here at the top single crochet stitch and below these two threads i will make first single crochet and in such way we uh, we can start our work on the second leaf we have first single crochet next we have step by step four double crochet stitches so i made first one again one time yarn over go to the next stitch make second one one time yarn over make third stitch one time yarn over and make the last stitch number four double crochet stitches we have here after to the next stitch make two different stitches first will be double crochet next two times yarn over to the same point treble crochet stitch stitches next we have two treble crochet stitches to one point first one i have two times yarn over make second one to the same point now we have a middle point here we should make three stitches treble crochet stitches so two times yarn over and make step by step three stitches to the same point next we go to the other side of this petal start from two treble crochet stitches to one point after two stitches in different size treble crochet and double crochet to one point 
After this, make step by step double crochet stitch stitches. Just very simple separate stitches. Okay. Step by step, I made four stitches, and the last one is single crochet stitch. Now we need to join to the third petal in the same area, yes, uh, where we have this first double crochet stitch. At this the same level, we have single crochet stitch, yes. So below two threads, insert your hook and make single crochet stitch. After, start to make double crochet stitches, step by step, four stitches. First one, second one, third. And the last one we have four double crochet stitches after i will make two different stitches to one point start from double crochet stitch after two times yarn over and make treble crochet stitch next two treble crochet stitches to one point first one and second one now we have middle part of our work so of our petal we should make here three stitches treble crochet stitches first one second one and third stitch to the same point after two double uh, sorry two treble crochet stitches to one point next we will make two different stitches start from treble crochet stitch and after double crochet stitch next four or five let's see i will look to the scheme i have four there okay four double crochet stitches first one second one to the next stitch third fourth and the last is single crochet stitch and also i think we can make slip stitch to this next one yes just to make smooth last stitches and one more chain loop and cut the yarn leaf tail around 20 centimeters okay and just fix the yarn so we finish it to make our beautiful motif of reel now we need to hide the tails stretch and iron this beautiful small motif with three petals okay and this was small video tutorial about this motif thank you so much for watching i wish you gorgeous results and see you at the next videos bye bye for now